weight. Okay. What do you mean? Are you serious right now? <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a vlogmas day 14 and also welcome to a uh, wild till nine hoodie merch drop launch day Oh my god, I've got the hoodie on right now. She is cute probably already seen photos of it But it is like some high ass quality Embroidery so when you're watching this it is officially live on shop.wildtill9.com I do want to give you a heads up This hoodie is priced a little more than like your basic screen printed hoodie because a it is thick as f like thick with seven C's and obviously it's got embroidery all over the front and the side I wanted to up the quality not to say that there won't be like screen printed hoodies coming in the future But she is thick she is warm and in turn She is a little more than like your average $40 screen printed enjoy hoodie hi guys I am just taking a break from work stuff right now And I feel like I've got like a bunch of stuff on my mind that I want to chat about and like really wish that You guys could just be like straight up on the other side responding to me in real time, so I'll just have the combo by myself. But like, actually let me know in the comments, like this has been my favorite part about Vlogmas, it's just that like the continuous conversation that we get to have every single day is literally my favorite. I know I already had my simp moment a few vlogs ago about how much I'm enjoying like connecting with you guys during Vlogmas, but oh my god, literally something bit my face. It's not a pimple and it's just like, I literally feel like I have a mosquito bite on my face, but there's there's no way, it's like it's way too cold in LA for mosquitoes right now. Anyways, this is gonna sound like a little, little whack, but I am I am currently like writing out my life story. Promise I'm not writing a book or a memoir of any sort. But a few podcasts ago, Jeremy and I kind of did like a deep dive into Jeremy's life and Jeremy's history and his past and like how he grew into the person that he is today and just like how he got from Rockford, Illinois to Kentucky to LA. And so today's episode is like my coming of age story. And I've been trying to like narrow down kind of like the main points of my life and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before but I am so insanely bad at summarizing anything it could be a six page children's storybook or a two hour long movie I cannot summarize for the life of me I don't know what brain cell that I'm missing that does not allow me to do that but it's something that I've struggled with my entire life so having to summarize something as big as my life has been pretty difficult so I have like a massive like note page of like high school, university, post-university while in Toronto, and then post-university moving to LA. Like everything that I've gone through in LA, like transitioning from making kids content and obviously like feeling kind of trapped in that like super saturated lifestyle situation and growing out of that and just like the struggles that came along with it. So I'm trying to like build structure so that there's like an actual storyline. And I think like the three main veins have always been like career, current relationships, Relationship at the time so obviously the boyfriend that I had while I was in university and then my last relationship which was mostly in LA and then uh, mental health which has obviously been a big part of my content and just like me as a person it's gonna be really difficult for me I think to make this not just sound like a blabbering of my life Jeremy did such a good job of articulating kind of like the main transitional or like pivotal points of his life to like bring him to where he is now and I really think mine's gonna be a hot mess a hot 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 mess anyways so that's next up on the agenda and then uh it is monday night so we have tennis lessons tonight typically jeremy and i go together but i think last week when i vlogged tennis he had like a late meeting or emails or something. i can't remember anyways usually it's the two of us so sorry jeremy if like i'm a pro now because i've done two solo lessons without you just saying okay so questions that i have for you that are not very important but are important to me <laughs> one what is your Starbucks order? I feel like I have been drinking the same thing for a very, very long time. And I just recently switched. So I did many, many, many years of a skinny vanilla soy latte. I'm allergic to almond, so I can't do almond milk. And I'm also lactose intolerant, so I can't do whole milk. So that kind of just leaves me with soy or oat, which Starbucks just started carrying. So it was a skinny vanilla soy latte for the longest time. And now I just switched and I'm loving it. And I'm like, oh my God, well, what else is there for me to try? So this is a, 
soy skinny cinnamon dolce latte. So if there's anything that fits into my very specific needs for a caffeinated beverage, please let me know. And here's the other question that I have for you guys that has been very top of mind for me today as I've been emailing um, with my merch company. So I'm planning out 2021 merch and I have some really cute ideas. So the Wild Soul 9 hoodie is obviously embroidered and will in turn, like I mentioned, be a little more expensive. Would you guys rather for like Art Club, Los Angeles, Lord DIY-esque merch, would you rather have things screen printed and it be a little cheaper or do you wanna pay for a higher quality? Please let me know because I genuinely am interested in hearing your direct feedback and that will 100% dictate which direction I go for my 2021 merch. I think with the podcast audience and honestly the vlog audience too, I feel like you guys are a little more mature and older. So people have just like the general understanding that like higher quality um, and materials typically result in a bit of a higher price. There's not like a crazy backlash. So the last thing that I want to do is make people mad about like a price that I can't control. But I just want to make products that you guys enjoy and can afford and that fit into your lifestyle. So please let me know because I'm happy to do either whatever you guys um, prefer. And then another question I have. So I'm very questioning today. How many of you guys pay for YouTube premium so that you don't have to watch ads? I pay for it on my Lord DIY account, but I don't pay for it on like my Lord DIY vlogs account. So when I'm watching content from my vlog channel by accident and I'm signed into that one, I see how many ads people put in their videos. And there was a beauty video that I was watching this weekend and I was shocked, shocked, shooketh to the core how often they were putting ads in. It was genuinely like every minute and 30 seconds and I could not believe it. Oh my God. And because I watch most of my videos from my main channel account, I don't see ads because I pay for the YouTube premium. But like, do y'all put up with that shit? I genuinely want to know. Obviously it's a free platform. So like creators and the platform have to monetize to be able to support itself and the creators that are on it, but an ad every minute and a half. That seems a little excessive. So anyways, let me know if you guys pay for YouTube premium and you just don't see that, or if you just bite the bullet and watch the ads every minute and a half. I would say that like the rule that most of the creators that I hang out and speak about this topic to, we just think that like an ad every five, six minutes or so feels pretty normal and average and like what other creators have kind of like structured it out to look like. But oh my God, when I tell you that I was fucking shook. Okay, so I'm gonna finish writing my life story. <laughs> it's such a mess. Like if you could see the notepad, right now that I have going of just like the mess that is the organization of how I view my life. It's not actually that my life has been a hot mess. It's that I am a hot mess trying to summarize what my life has been. So wish me luck. This episode will not go up for another two weeks, I think. Our podcast editor is going on vacation for the holidays. So we are getting ahead in recording so that obviously she can have a holiday vacation. So yeah, a few more weeks until this comes out, but wish me luck. I always forget how good the lighting in here is. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. I had to take the, <laughs> the Wild to Nine Honey off because it is literally too thick and warm that like the moment that I start feeling stressed that I'm not doing a good job telling my story, I'll start sweating and then it'll just be a whole mess. So we've got a stress appropriate outfit on where I can do stress-free sweating if I do get stressed. Man, I, I wish that you guys could hear this episode sooner. So it'll be exactly two weeks actually from when this vlog goes up, I think. Yes, yes, exactly two weeks. Holy shit, that was our longest podcast yet. Like I mentioned, very, very terrible at summarizing literally anything. Gonna have to do a real edit on that one. <laughs> oh my God, feels so bad for our podcast editor. Oh my God, that is a literal two hour recording. So hopefully we can cut it down to like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh my God. I definitely like really recapped things from like high school until now. And it's a lot of growth for sure. And there's a lot of shit in there that like I haven't really spoken to. Definitely crazy crazy but just like a lot of other things that were happening while I was publicly doing YouTube but yeah it's a nice big coming of age story oh my god guys this is the chaos that is currently my vanity hello because all of my packages have arrived this mirror because of the fluorescent lights do that weird like flicker flicker situation so I'm gonna try and mess with the frame rate and see if I can make it go away for our little unboxing it's not really happening over here let me let me try something let me try something quick okay couldn't fix the situation Situation, but I think it's like better when I'm not actually facing the lights and it's facing away from the lights and this lighting not so bad for some nighttime lighting Also, I have these sugar fina candies still up here from when I did the uh, Dyson air wrap hair tutorial 
And it's been so problematic because every time I do my makeup, I'm like, oh, candy. So I've been slowly working my way through these stupid spiked eggnog bears and Mary Berries. Let me move all the stuff out of the way. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys all the things I got. I'm being f***ing rude. Hang on, let me swallow this. Okay, let me show you all the things that I bought. We ended up not even going to tennis tonight because things got so busy. We recorded the pods, two hours, and then our Wild Till 9 merch launch is tomorrow. And there's like so much prep stuff that you have to do on the back end before a merch launch. So we had to bail on tennis which is so sad. I've been looking forward to it since literally last Monday, but that's okay. Now we are unboxing organizational things off Amazon and drinking an equally good and healthy night. So the first thing that I got is just like a clear desktop table pad. I don't really know what that means, but basically I figured that because I spill like so much foundation and there's loose powder from shadows or just like um, regular powder powder, I feel like it's much easier to just have like a clear surface to have all your makeup on rather than having to worry about getting the wood dirty or staining it or anything. So this is definitely made for computer areas, <laughs> but oh yeah, this is cute. This is cute. Nice little workstation. This is definitely exactly the size of like what a workstation would look like for a laptop, but that's okay. And also I will leave a link to all of this stuff on Amazon if you have a need for it. I don't have time tonight to like actually organize everything into place. We still have to like handle these shelves and this situation over here. But I wanted to show you guys all the stuff I got because there's some really, really cute organizational moments here. Okay, so this, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh Jesus, do I have to build this myself? Okay, so this is a palette organizer and you just slide these like little buddies in. You can separate all of your palettes, etc., the same way that you would separate like your pots and pans or your records. And I feel like this is such a nice little tool. And so I tried to go in the theme of white. Sorry, that was the worst sound ever. I tried to go in the color theme of like white and plexiglass. Is, is this plexiglass? Clear, whatever this is. Because the mirror is just like mirrored glass like there's no color scheme to it and then obviously the desk is like fully wood and like a little more rustic vibes Gah, sorry, that's such a bad sound. I'm so sorry. So I wanted to keep it all like cohesive, but also just like nothing too crazy. I also want to get a new chair. This paint chair has been through some shit. Like it is bally and gross and there's foundation stains all over it. So I think it's time that we upgrade. I really want to get one of those like lush cream colored, not like shearling, but like it's like the fuzzy white, like wintry feeling fabric. Oh my God, what is the name of it? Please let me know if you know what I'm talking about because that's the kind of chair that I want to get. I think I feel like it goes to the room and it's just like neutral and cute and comfy. Maybe not the best color to get for makeup. I'm thinking about all the times that I've accidentally had like a minor foundation explosion. Maybe that's not the move. We'll uh, think on that. Also, am I missing one? Oh yeah, well, there's one down here. Okay. Oh my God. Kia. Okay, so I got this. Um, not just for like makeup palettes, but even just like doing my browsing in here. Like, <gasps> cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we've got this. And then I also got one in gold. And this one is just straight up like a kitchen organizer. Literal kitchen organizer. But I have a bunch of makeup palettes that I don't use super frequently, but always keep on hand because I feel like twice a year at Halloween, I get bold and want to try like a crazy eye makeup look. So I do keep some palettes that have like some bolder colors, but I feel like they don't necessarily need to be on my everyday makeup situation. So this will be more of a decor element on those shelves over there once we get everything organized. Next, what is this? Oh, I see. This is a brush holder. Oh, I just got some new brushes from Manny. Cute. I need to reevaluate and purge some brushes because I use four brushes on a daily basis and I do not need the extent of brushes that I do currently own right now. But this will be good to separate like eyeshadow brushes, everyday brushes, and then not sure. We'll figure it out. And then this one is going to be the everyday makeup organizer. Two cute little drawers here. Some space up top for stuff to sit. These are both super deep so you could put, I guess even brushes. And then six spots for lip glosses or mascaras over here here cute i really don't wear that much makeup like i feel like i've got like six or seven steps to my um routine so i feel like this is kind of a good size little organizer she's so cute she's so cute and little and then i'm excited for this one this one was like a little pricey i think it was 50 bucks just for like an organizer Ooh, i see why now oh she noise oh shit this is cute oh my god oh this is so nice i'm so excited already wow 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 
This is what it looks like. It's got like a faux leather finish. And then you've got the three cups on top to put your hot tools. And this whole little section at the front here. Okay, let's see. We've got our Dyson little attachment. And then we could just, oh wow, that is so satisfying. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. This one right here is a little bit bigger. So I feel like that's probably for a blow dryer, but I don't have a blow dryer anymore. So I guess we'll just do the air wrap, the straightener and the curling iron and maybe a brush in here as well. Wow, this is cute. This is so cute. I've never felt so organized in my entire life. I am so excited to set this all up. Okay, yeah, we'll make this a tomorrow thing for sure. Also, tomorrow is day 15. And at the beginning of Vlogmas, Moose made day 15 a thing. So I may have a something, a little, a little tiny something, little special plan for tomorrow because Moose made day 15 such a big day for him. So we will do just a little something something for him for day 15. Okay, that is everything I got. Oh, wait, no, there's one more thing. There's one more cute little thing. Hang on. When you search for a beauty sponge holder, this is one of the results. I'm not convinced that it's not to hold an egg, but I don't care because it's so cute. <laughs> Please don't judge how disgusting my beauty blender is, but oh, it sits in it a lot smaller than I expected, I feel like. Oh, I guess that's kind of cute though. And then it sits at the bottom. I don't hate this whatsoever. Even if like after you wash your beauty blender, I feel like it's a good spot for it to dry. Cute. It's definitely to hold an egg. It's fine. I'm not in denial. And then I only use one beauty blender every day in my routine, but it came with a second one and it's equally as cute. Oh my God, it's so little. All right, so that is everything for the little vanity organizational haul. I'll be sure to leave a link to all of the products that you can grab on Amazon if you need anything from this haul that helps you in your life. Two more Mary Berries for the road and I think it's advent calendar time, y'all. The calm before the storm. Snoog, bubby. Is it time? 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 Oh my god, I can't believe tomorrow is the coveted day 15 that's already half open. That's so exciting, bubbies. Okay, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14! I just need you guys to know, if I was not vlogging this every day, we would not continue this. Moose has rampant gas right now, and it is not enjoyable for anyone. It's stinky over here in this household, so you're welcome. Oh, there's four of these. I feel like you guys called it that he was gonna gain a little weight this holiday season because this advent calendar, and I feel as if you're not wrong. Can I have this paw? Thank you so much, Mr. Moose. It is so nice to meet you, Mr. Moose. Gentle. Gentle. Ow, it looked like it was gonna be so gentle, but then my hand was in your mouth. Gentle. Ah, 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 easy. Ah, ah, gentle, gentle. Mm, oh, bubbies. Ah. They smell like poo poo. Last one. There's a giant ball of spit on my knee. Pop. Thank you so much, Snoog. Thank you so much. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Wait. Okay. What do you mean? Are you serious right now? <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Okay, that's it. You drooled all over my body. Thank you so much, Nuke. All right, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed day 14 <laughs> of Vlogmas. We will see you tomorrow for the highly anticipated day 15. I wanna be very clear, nothing that special is happening tomorrow, but I did pick up something a little special in celebration for day 15. So, hope you guys enjoyed today. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 15 of Vlogmas. Okay, bye guys, love you.